Look out, pimp. This is E-40, man, and this is my block to bet. My block is heading west, the Yay area, and we're about to show you the sound that's rattling the trunks in the bay, the West Coast version of Crunk, the hyphy movement. Hyphy, make a baby mama slap a baby daddy. The ambassador of the bay, E-40, shows why everyone here is going dumb. I'm from the bay where we hyphy and go dumb. From the soil where them rappers be getting they lingo from. My block meets the hot new stars of the Bay's hyphy scene and some of its characters. Oli, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We break down the sound, yes. the culture, culture, and the language. <laughs> the boobalized <laughs> boopy. <laughs> what does this mean? And one of Oakland's OGs shows us the town. Don't get your big ass stuck in, the, in that sunroof. This is how it's going down in the yay. This is my block, the Bay. <laughs> 100. What's up, world? Welcome to My Block Debate. Now, this show is extremely important to me because this is literally my block, East Oakland, 23rd Ave. And if you know anything about the Bay Area, you know about its rich history, from the Black Panthers to my man Tupac Shakur, from the lyrical mastery of the hieroglyphics, yeah, yeah, yeah to the legendary pop status of MC Hammer, okay? But right now, the Bay Sound is about the hyphy movement. And we told you what that was a year ago. Now we're going to show you what it's become. The Bay is hella tight. Welcome to my block, the bank. Town business. When MTV News first exposed the hyphy scene, it was just a local hip hop sound. Just like the South had crunk, we hang with hyphy. But unlike crunk, hyphy has become more than just a musical style in the Bay. It's become a lifestyle, an attitude that surfaces in raps, spontaneous dances. This is hyphy right here, okay? And in an animated car culture. Now, this local phenomenon is breaking nationwide, thanks to this man, veteran MC E-40. <laughs> Considered the ambassador of the Bay for 14 years, 40's new hit single, Tell Me When To Go, is hyphy 101 for the hip hop nation. Tell me when to go. 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 E-40, what up with you? What's up with you, baby? How you been, family? Who would ever thought that Sway would be out here, you know what I mean, in the hillside of Vallejo, man? Vallejo, Cali, screw you, man. You smell me? Let me tell you about this hyphy movement we got going in the back. The hyphy music make cats out here go dumb, stupid, banana, silly. Get dummy. What does that mean exactly? Dummy is just letting yourself go, you know, doing you. It's the music that make these youngsters out here, you know what I mean, flambos to the highest degree. Go stupid, go, go, go stupid, go, go. If the club ain't cracking, you slap that on, it's a whole new win. Good, man, this is what we do, man. There's a whole bunch of support, you smell me. This is the first fat burger in Northern Calistrilia, the first of 10. And you are the owner. Yes, sir. Did we see this? Come on, baby. OK, let's see, let's see. Can I get a double cheeseburger? Double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger. Can I get some fat fries? Fat fries. Fat fries. A strawberry shake. Strawberry shake. Strawberry shake. Is that simple? It's gratifying. It seems like all the hip hop in the Bay at some point or another has to touch E-40 or it goes through 40, whether it's cameos or on your records or you cameoing on somebody else's record. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a bricklayer. Uh-huh. Trendsetter. I'm a veteran, but I'm current. I'm from the Bay where we hyphy and go dumb. From the soil where them rappers be getting they lingo from. We got to talk about the slang, what you do, man. You, you're the undisputed king of slang and hip hop. I would say that, uh, you know, 75% of the slang mm -hmm that's out there I'm responsible for in the hip hop community. Okay, so pop your collar. Were you the first to pop your collar? 1993 Practice Looking Hard video. I'm popping my collar, you smell me. I hear a lot of people say, what's up, Playboy? I think you were the first to say that on Wax. The word Playboy, of course, has been here for many moons. Yeah, yeah. You dig what I'm saying? But calling a, somebody Playboy, that was Efeezy, hands down. Thought you crazy, for cheesy. First rapper to ever say for cheesy on Wax. What's a Wigadell? Oh, why? Okay, what's a Brigadell? A Brigadelle is a breezy. Just a regular girl. Pretty much. I made a lot of Gouda. You know what Gouda is? <laughs> it's Gouda. Gouda is Japer. It's capital. It's, it's bread. It's money. It's cheese. Do you just make this stuff up off the top of your head? Hell yeah. So what kind of information did you have passed on to you from, like, the OGs that was in the rap scene? 
before you, and what kind of information do you pass on to the guys you've been working with in, the in recent years? I just tell people to stay H and H, man. What's that? Hungry and humble. It's the fire in my heart because I come from the struggle. I come from the fire bologna sandwiches and the pickle jars and what have you. I had to pretty much raise, you know, my brothers and sisters. But at the same time, the fire in my heart kept me doing this music thing and making sure that I never fell off. H and H, humble and hungry, man. I'm standing next to the Bay Area front runner himself, Hello. Kick the Snake. The king of the super duper. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Everybody I talked to said that you are the inventor uh -huh. of the word hyphy. The next word is hyphy. H Y P H Y. Hyphy. Hyphy came from like when I was probably like five or six, mm -hmm. seven. Don't give him that much candy because he's going to be hyper. Hyphy is the millennium word for hyper. So first it was hyper. It was hyper. Uh -huh. Then it was highly reactionary. OK. Then it was highly reactional. Uh -huh. Then it was hyphy. I don't put that on. That's my word. The music take you there, you know what I mean? I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but it, 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 it got you. Is it a dress attire that goes with it? We wear the stunner shades. Put your stunner shades on. Put your stunner shades on. Dreadlocks. Shake them dreads. Shake them dreads. I might have been the first uh, in the back, Kick. I don't know, I mean, man. You've been having it. I ain't going to take nothing from it. OK, OK. But at the same time, uh, you know, T-shirt, jeans, and Nikes. That's the turf coat. We need three. Talk about how you make sure a record is hyphy. I might take it out of, out of the little boom box, uh -huh. and, I, and I'm going outside to the car so I can get the real full effect. OK. You know what I mean? I want to feel it all the way through. I can show you better than I can tell you. Play something, man, right quick, man. Super duper hype proof, okay? And this is the man right here, all right? Front run the Bay Area. Right about what? Right about that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's Nump, AKA Nump Trump. And you on MTV, my block, the Yay area. Northern California, don't let the stunner shades fool you. Uli, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Animaniacs right here, man. The originators of this turf dancing movement, man. You on our block. The boobla boopy, man. Now, <laughs> you know what I'm Don't get your big ass stuck in, the, in that sunroof. Yes, yes, welcome back to my block, the Bay. Now, you guys just found out about what hyphy is all about. But in the Bay, we got a lot of movements, like the Thiz movement. And the man running point to that is my man, Mr. Fab, Mr. Fab. Step into the picture, playboy. What exactly is Thiz? All right. First off, for y'all that don't know, what we do with our Thiz movement, man, we make feel good music. A more upbeat offshoot of hyphy, this was originally associated in both style and sound with club drugs. But now, this has transcended its origins and become synonymous with just party music. When you see somebody in a club, call a timeout. That means this. Yeah, who was the founder of the Fizz movement? Who would get back? Dre. Ask anybody in the streets, Mac Dre, man. Mac Dre started this, and we just gonna carry it on for him because he's not here. He's somewhat of a martyr now yeah. for Bay Area music. Let's talk about the nation of Islam. The nation of Islam, Islamically speaking. What does this mean? We, I mean, we got our own language. I mean, for years you didn't heard people say the Bay Area language, the Bay Area lingo. When we say something, we like yada da mean. Mm-hmm. Yada da mean me. Do you understand? Yada da mean. Yada da mean. Yada da mean. Okay, all right. Shabubala boopy. That's just like man, I don't really know what it is. Shabubala boopy, man. Now, you know what I'm saying? I did a line, man, in the song, man. It's called, I do the dummy retarded and rock the yellow butt. I 
do the dummy retarded and ride the yellow bus. You see somebody, you're like, oh, he going yellow bus. What it mean is, hyphy, go dumb, all that, all in one. And the streets, they took it like, I ride the yellow bus too. It's crazy, man. It's like this whole yellow bus movement. Can I take y'all around just it's to show a little stuff? We... Couple of my dudes got whips and stuff out here. OK, man. cool. Last night, you said you want somebody to bring a real scraper. So what makes this a real scraper as opposed to another car? You got to have your ramps. These right here, these is 23s. Your music got to be real loud. We ride with our speakers in our grill out here. You know what I'm saying? That's where the speakers go. Bang. Boom. Bang, bang. Boom. This is a classic, man. You ask somebody to bring out a classic, you OG if you in one of these. This is called a Falcon. You can lick the paint damn near, you know what I'm saying? But bam, stop, stop. OK, all right, all right, that. all right, come on. That's candy, man. That's Tastes candy. like apple, man. When you riding in these cars, you got to kind of have an outfit that, you, you know, that kind of supplements the car, right? You know, they say fake it till you make it, right? This is official Keep It Real session on TV. <laughs> this oh. is his shame. But that's still within the, the rules, right? I mean, keep it real, you, though. With your next man chain, right? Can I keep it real? Yeah, please do. This one right here. This is my cuzzo chain. <laughs> my whole team, we shine. Well, whose shades are those? Oh, these mine. OK, what's ghost riding, Fab? Ghost riding is when you hop out your car, you let the car roll, and they really going dumb. They're ghost riding the whip. They're going dumb. You hop back in it, and then you ride out. That's ghost riding 101. What's that? Oh, that's the car, man. That's the Mac Pack car? Yeah, somebody call me? <laughs> if I do that noise, would everybody come? Would they come? Yeah, that's like a car, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, whoa, hey, 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 Yay, baby bubba, and I thought you knew. Yeah. Oakland. Being independent out here is just pretty easy because we have all these outlets like where we're at, Rasputin's. You could come into the store, set up your posters, set up your CDs, you know, and sell your stuff like any other artist coming out on any other label. We got our album right here, the Zion I album. Bay Area is all about hustle and doing your thing and being original and unique, you know what I'm saying? What hip hop is based on, the original principles still apply here. What you hear is not the best. Right now, I'm sitting next to the man who needs no introduction. Too short. He's in the building. This is your town, baby. What? I remember how it all began. I used to sing dirty raps to my east side fans. A lot of people think I was born and raised in Oakland, but I moved to Oakland the year after ninth grade. Okay. And that was the same year I started rapping and everything. So my rap has always been Oakland. And Freddie B is my rap partner. Then somewhere like about probably like the end of 81, Freddie B was like, man, we need to sell this, man. People, people want these tapes. We'd have a bag of tapes. It'd be like a little paper bag with maybe like 15 copies in it. Uh -huh. We used to actually go to the turfs where the drug dealers sold dope. There's cash money on the dope turfs. And we just hit them one at a time until all the tapes was gone. Is that where the expression in the trunk came from? And while you're in the studio, I'm in the trunk. Yeah, 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 that's basically what it was, because at first, you know, we didn't have a car. <laughs> we walked from block to block, passing out tapes and selling tapes. It was my hustle, and I've been a hustler from day one. So when I get up in the morning and I say, man, I got $35, I want to have, I need 100 So I take my little change I got, go buy some tapes, make a new rap, and then hit the streets. Look at these cats right here. Look at that, look at so that. So fast, so fast, what up, boy? You came out at a time where the only thing that was really dirty thing on a major label was music from the East Coast. Mm -hmm. You incorporated pimping in your raps, as well as, you know, street slang from Oakland and what we do in the town, at a time where nobody was really looking at the town. Oakland was, uh, it was all about the hustling, man. It was all about the game. It was about being an individual street character with, with, with colorful personality that everybody know you by your names and, 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 your, and your car. It was a lot of pride in street images, you know? What's up, what's up, what's up, baby? We just, we just hollering at everybody, you know? Letting them see the town. And would you say that this hyphy movement that's starting to grow take a lot of lead from what was happening back then? The cats that were older than me were doing it. They were colorful. They was had rims on their cars. They had paint jobs. No, they talked the slick talk. And then our generation, we came along, and we made the cars a little flyer. We made the stereos a little louder. We act a little crazier. And now this generation now, they just like, you know, they. 
they upstaging us with the um with the ghost riding and the doors open and whatnot. They doing it their way. Don't, don't get your big ass stuck in the, in that sunroof. Talk about the bike culture. See, in Oakland, we got a lot of bike clubs. Our real OGs that we really honor and respect is the East Bay Dragons. They like the Oakland Raiders does, man. You know what I'm saying? They like symbolize the town. Somewhere down the line, that, that, that whole East Bay Dragon sort of vibe about the brotherhood and the bikes, we adopted that. And, that, and the East Bay Dragons sparked all of that. And the, and the Hells Angels. The Hells Angels. You know, the Hells Angels was white boys, but now they was crazy East Coast, Oakland white boys. Oh, you watching MTV, my block, the bay, bitch. Yeah, yeah. 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 The man known as the bay's new Dr. Dre. When it comes to production, my homie EA Ski. What up, Ski? What's up, buddy, homie? Okay, and my man CMT. There you go. Yeah. Now, for more news, for more information on Bay Area artists, make sure you log on to MTVNews.com. For exclusive footage on this show, go to overdrive.mtv.com. Tell them, Ski. Tell them, yeah. baby. The Bay is cracking. What's up with it? My block, the Bay. Holla. Y'all got to come get on camera, man. This is a once in a lifetime thing. I said, I don't want to be famous. Welcome back, my block, the Bay. Right now, I'm in East Oakland, and I'm hanging out with the new queen of the yay, Keisha Cole. What you thinking when you see me coming through? A lot of people don't realize how well you actually sing, and sometimes you can't always catch that on the record. So I want you to sing a cappella. Just give me as much as you can of love. Oh, love, never knew. What's up, all boy? This your nephew, Turf Talk. This my hood liquor store, man. You know what I mean? Everybody got a hood liquor store. This is where it all started for me, man. Y'all gotta come get on camera, man. This is a once in a lifetime thing. I said, I don't wanna be famous. This spot important for me, really, because if we got CDs for sale, they'll sell them. They let us put our posters up and everything. Matter of fact, they got my partner CD right here, Crypto, they selling that. T-shirts, man, when you ready to hit the turf, come get you a T-shirt, man, throw it on your back, you're on your way, man. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. We at the hood. This is the car wash street, man. This is just my dude, my OG folks, Tom, right here. He's been here for many moons. Name Turf Talk come from this right here, what you see the turf. You know what I mean? I rap about what go on in the streets. So I think that's what separates the bay, man. We got our own slanguish, our own style, our dress, our own talk, everything. We can fight, y'all. My boys out here making dollars. Right now, we're hitting another hot spot in the Bay. It's the Fillmore District in San Francisco, and I'm standing next to the guy who runs Point Guard in half for quite some time, my man JT, the bigger figure. You were like one of the first artists from San Francisco to get signed to a major record deal. Moms let me turn the, basically my room and the living room into the neighborhood operation because she seen that making this product was keeping us busy, keeping us off the street, and we was making hella money. I mean, we had about 10, 15 artists. I'm like 19 years old. I made all the beats, you know what I mean? We pressed up everything, we marketed, we distributed. What was it like living in this area for you, and how did that influence your music? It was raw because the big homies was teaching us bad things. Like you know what? What do you mean by that? Red light bandits. Red light bandits is when you run up on a car and you open the door and snatch whatever's right there and you run. In the early 80s, that's what was going on, purse okay. snatching. And then the, the crack moved in. I would say in this neighborhood, 1990 was the peak of the crack game. Mm -hmm. And that's the year I got took down, so I was locked up that whole year. This area right here is an urban area in the middle of a metropolitan city. I know it look calm right now, but what's bubbling in people's hearts and chests right now, it's a lot of frustration, man, a lot of anger. We shut out of the opportunities, but 
Through the independent rap game, we found freedom, though. JT, I know there's a lot of artists coming out of the Fillmore, but who stands out right now that's kind of leading man, the pack? Man, the star of our, of our hood right now is the San Quinn, man. Can we go Cam. check him? Let's go check him out. San Quinn, what up with your family? What's happening with you, Swipe? How long have you been in the business? How long have you been putting out records? 14 years now. I put out my first record when I was in the 10th grade. I waited and let you come to the block. You at the block now. You yeah, dig yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Hell yeah. I'm part of the hyphy movement, but my raps ain't funny. You did ain't nothing funny about what I'm serving. Been on the run with them, been in the life with them, struggling to fight for them, risking my life for them. The story goes on. You know, when you hear about San Francisco, you probably, you might not even know it's black people here. But uh, we fly, man. You know, Fillmore got a lot of history, a lot of culture for us, the jazz and every the whole movement back in the day. So Kemp's too. Pimp, pimps too. Real pimps. You okay. know, Fillmore Slim, they all copy and Fillmore Slim, you dig? This is for the pimps and the hustlers. This is for my homies and my homies in the hood. I grew up around the dope track right down the street. My mama house right here. A lot of pimping, a lot of gangster stuff. Instead of getting addicted to hustling, I got addicted to rapping when I was young, and it just been my thing. Yeah, what's happening? This is San Quinn, it's JT the bigger figure, and this is my block the Bay. the place that built me and my partner DJ King Tech from the world famous Wake Up Show. I gotta send much love to the homie JP and my brother T Calloway, hey. always holding it down. And as you can tell, the Bay Area is still rich socially and musically. And if you want to still get hyphy, go on over to overdrive.mtv.com. And if you ever come into the town to handle this business, make sure you got your swagger right, okay? My block the yay, what, ha, ha. Get an exclusive look at some other stars from the Bay, like Coopole in the Quantum Collective at overdrive.mtv.com. Hey, this Boots Riley from the Coop, and this is my block, the Bay. Representing Eastside Oakland, you see what you see. It's my block. My block. My block. My block. What's up, this is Q-Bert, and this is my block, the Bay.